Butyrate is the byproduct of healthy bacteria that live in your gut eating fermentable fibers. In other words, when you eat foods that contain fibers, those fibers feed the bacteria that live in your gut and the outcome of that feeding is a product called a short chain fatty acid, SCFA for short. So again, it's produced by colonic flora when exposed to fiber. These fibers generally um, again are broken down by your good bacteria and the number one form of postbiotic short chain fatty acid is something called butyrate. Now why is butyrate so important? We always hear about why we should eat fiber, everything from you know constipation, uh, you know, improving bowel function to fiber stopping colon cancer or preventing colon cancer. Um, and if we look at one, some of the reasons why fiber has these benefits, butyrate is actually the reason. Remember, the fiber is the fuel source for your bacteria that live in your colon to produce the butyrate. And the butyrate has a number of different effects within the intestines and colon. And one of those is to regulate fluid transport. So it regulates fluid across the GI tract. So it helps to add fluid to a bowel, hence reducing the potential for constipation. It also regulates inflammation and oxidative stress in the gut lining. There are a number of mechanisms behind this. We'll get into these here in just a moment. But it aids in the prevention of leaky gut as well. Butyrate improves the secretion of mucin. Mucin is a substance that coats and lines the GI tract, and this is made possible largely uh, by the production of that substance, and then aids in intestinal motility, again, one through fluid, uh, but as well, it provides a fuel source. It's the primary fuel source for colon cells, which obviously need to be able to produce energy in order to do their work um, in terms of motility. So um, as, it, as a primary fuel source for those cells, this is one of the reasons why when, when a person has low levels of butyrate consistently, their risk for cancer, specifically colon cancer, increases. And so going back to why do doctors tell you to eat your fiber, it's to get to the butyrate. What do we need the butyrate for as a fuel source for colon cells to reduce the potential for cancer, but also to improve motility and reduce the potential for constipation. And again, this is what we're talking about here, may reduce the risk of colon cancer. So let's look at some of the research on butyrate to help you understand a little bit more about why it's so important that you're making sure you're getting some. Okay, so you can see here in this study on human intestinal barrier function and health and disease, uh, this, this diagram holds a lot of information, so I'm gonna break down the important part around butyrate. So if you look here, you can see butyrate up here on the upper right um, is the substance being produced by your commensal bacteria when they're exposed to fiber, so that leads to that butyrate, but again, what does butyrate do? It does several different things. You can see it's a butyrate which has barrier protective properties. Well, what are those barrier protective properties? One is it helps in the production of mucin. It also helps in the production of something called secretory IgA. What is that? It's an antibody that helps keep your GI tract immunoprotected. Remember the the act of eating, when you eat, you're eating all kinds of nefarious things. There's virus, bacteria, and many other types of nefarious things within the food, even if it's organic food. This is why we have such a high concentration of immune power within our gut wall, and one of the major contributing factors to that immune power is the production of this antibody called IgA. And the way IgA works, it works a lot like a handcuff. It binds on to bad guys, so to speak, so that you can poop them out, so that these bad guys don't penetrate through. If you look at, at this diagram, each one of these is a cell in the intestine, you can see. And so that gap in between the cells, okay, that gap, that's a pathway. But if that gap is open, in essence, if there's a leakiness or a leaky gut, 
right, then now all the chemical compounds and other dangerous elements within your food, the bacterial toxins, etc., can leak through that barrier and then incite immune system responses. And this is why that IgA is so important because it prevents a lot of those things from being able to leak through by binding them and helping you pass them out through the stool. So again, butyrate plays a major role by making, helping make that mucin and helping make that, uh, that IgA antibody. So it helps in a sense, if you think about it, it helps in a sense pre prevent your gut from leaking aggressively. So again, playing a major role in how the gut functions. And what else does butyrate do? So let's look at the role of butyrate in colonic function. You can see in this study, so your review article um, recently published, and we've got butyrate exerts potent effects on a variety of colonic mucosal functions such as inhibition of inflammation, as well as carcinogenesis, which means cancer causing or cancer generating, reinforcing various components of the colonic defense barrier and decreasing oxidative stress. Again, butyrate is short chain fatty acid, is a main end product of intestinal microbial fermentation of mainly dietary fiber. Butyrate's an important energy source for intestinal epithelial cells and plays a role in the maintenance of colonic homeostasis. So again, um, anti-inflammatory reduces the risk of cancer as well as an antioxidant. Um, now here we have another one on the protective mechanisms of butyrate on inflammatory bowel disease. And you can see in this one, butyrate can regulate the activation of regulatory T cells, um, which are specialized types of white blood cells in the colon wall in the intestinal wall, increasing the acetylation of histones and decreasing the activation of NFKB. In addition, it can also stimulate the mucus production from epithelial cells and the rearrangement of tight junction proteins. So again, helping prevent leaky gut. Okay, butyric acid in constipation. Let's talk, actually, let's talk about uh, the role it plays in constipation, at least the theoretic role uh, that's being published in this, in this um, research paper. So butyrate supports mucosal barrier function by stimulating intestinal mucus production. Again, we've seen that in a number of places. Butyric acid was documented to increase peristaltic efficiency. Peristalsis refers to the, to the neurological stimulation or movement or contraction of the muscles and the lining of the colon so that your poop can move through. Uh, effectively by improving colonic smooth muscle contractility and regulating intestinal neurotransmission, especially in the case of slow peristalsis. Moreover, all short chain fatty acids limit the active secretion of water, sodium, and chloride ions by the intestinal epithelial cells. These mechanisms of action of butyric acid seem to be useful in the treatment of defecation disorders. In other words, doctors are now and researchers are now using butyric acid or butyrate as a treatment option, viable treatment option for those with constipation, and they're finding you know good outcomes or good results through those mechanisms. Now, one of the other functions of butyrate in the intestine is a role in the production of retinoic acid. Now, retinoic acid is vitamin A. And, and so you can see here, our data implicate that butyrate stimulates the epithelial capacity to produce retinoic acid, again, vitamin A, via an HDAC dependent mechanism. Together, this helps in the understanding of how short chain fatty acids can be associated with health benefits of dietary fiber. In other words, um, and you can see this diagram, uh, illustration of what these researchers found, uh, is that the action of butyrate um, inhibits these deacetylation enzymes, which upregulates the production of retinoic acid or vitamin A, and then that vitamin A will then communicate to these specialized immune cells and help to regulate them, helps to regulate the production of different immune chemicals that keep balance of the immune system within the GI tract itself. One of the important components of vitamin A in the gut is this function of regulating how immune cells respond to friendly or foreign invaders. And again, that's done uh, largely in part through a mechanism that vitamin A produces. And of course, the butyrate enhances the ability for 
retinoic acid to be synthesized or produced in the intestine. So very, very important. Vitamin A is also very important for the regeneration of cell tissues in the gut lining. Uh, these epithelial cells in the gut lining need vitamin A to regenerate. So butyrate plays a role in that. Now, what's another one of these functions for butyrate? In inflammatory bowel disease induced by sleep deficiency. So how many of you have ever had uh, you know, a weekend binger or maybe had a, uh, a problem with sleep over a prolonged period of time? Well, one of the things that happens when we're sleep deprived is there is a damage that can occur, an acute damage that can occur to the bowel. In other words, sleep deficiency can, can induce bowel damage. And so you can see here, inflammatory bowel disease induced by sleep deficiency is a serious global public health threat. Butyrate, a member of the short chain fatty acids, exerts multiple effects on this process. Our studies suggest that butyrate can be used as a probiotic to restore sleep deprived induced inflammatory bowel disease and contribute to a better understanding of the mechanisms that govern the beneficial effects of butyrate. So again, butyrate as a molecule helps to heal and repair and reduce the inflammatory damage caused by sleep deprivation. So those of you maybe thinking, should, should I supplement with butyrate? Could there be a benefit for me to supplement with butyrate? And I would say, think about it in terms of, are you, are you struggling with your sleep? Are you not able to, to sleep? And are you also constipated? Is, is your gut inflamed? And butyrate supplementation might be a good idea uh, for you 